is going on YouTube? My name is Lucas and today I'm going to be providing a video on Ag Eagle and they continue and continue to make strides in the right direction. As we get closer and closer to quarterly earnings, they just keep releasing information and they just keep doing the right things. So if you're interested in Ag Eagle and the drone future, I suggest you stay tuned right after this. I am beyond excited to bring you guys this video, no question, but before I do, I ask that you guys smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, comment down below, and now it's definitely time to get into this video. We're going to jump into this right away. I'm, basically what I'm going to do right out the gate is provide you information on Ag Eagle's drone delivery, I guess, write up. Basically their description on exactly what their vision is or what they're doing within the drone delivery aspect. And the reason is, is because I think what this is gonna do is this is gonna start painting a picture. This is really gonna create a scene for us to understand what Ag Eagle is doing when it comes to the drone delivery. And there are a lot of people who really still don't even know about this stock yet. So I wanna be able to provide that information to you before we really start diving into the news. So swing it on over here. Drone delivery, increasing demand for faster delivery in the transport and logistics industry is fueling capital investment in drone delivery initiatives across several sectors, including delivery of consumer packages, food, healthcare supplies, heavy cargo, among other payloads. Keep all that in mind as we continue to move forward. Since 2019, Ag Eagle has been actively engaged in the custom manufacturing and assembly of drones used for testing and refining of a world-leading e-commerce company's commercial drone, small package delivery vehicles, system, and operations. As a result, we are uniquely positioned to collaborate with other organizations seeking to activate and accelerate adoption of end-to-end -end drone delivery solutions to drive new and differentiated value creation in their business-to-business -business or business-to-consumer operations. Hence, a major partnership that they were able to get is Valkyrie, no question. So continuing on, they're talking about their testing and the things that they've done to test. This has been my biggest thing when it comes to the drone market as a whole. If you watch any of my videos, you've heard me talk about the FAA. The clearance that is required to get past the FAA is very, very strenuous. And I do think that that is the biggest hurdle most of these companies have to obviously get past. Once they get past that, it's time to kick it in gear. And I think Ag Eagle, no question, has been doing that. So Ag Eagle offers comprehensive drone testing based on existing regulatory requirements, safety standards, and testing protocols. Our pro approach to testing serves as a framework to verify and performance, safety, and quality of drone subcomponents under intended use conditions. We have experience designing tests that cover structural safety, functional flight safety, mechanical and electrical safety, general performance, strengths and weaknesses, propulsion safety, and performance. Our quality control testing programs can be customized to meet the specific testing needs of our clients. We offer our testing and inspection services at our state-of-the-art facility in Wichita, Kansas. That's right, where I live. Obviously not in Wichita, I live in Kansas. But that is absolutely massive. So they are able to design and perform the test in order for the drones to be successful. Obviously, like I stated, the FAA is very, very strict. Obviously, the FAA does not want drones going rogue, doing crazy things, causing damage, injuring people. So for Ag Eagle to be able to obviously provide those tests and really get the test conducted is amazing. I mean, this is all just amazing information and just shows why this company is really on the cusp of just doing some amazing things in the future. As if Ag Eagle can't continue to provide more positive information leading into quarterly earnings. This is getting exciting. So basically on November 10th, Ag Eagle released a press release or a news article that was talking about their partnership that obviously has been forged with the United States Department of Transportation. 
And I'm going to talk about that, but then I'm going to lead it into the Kansas Department of Transportation and how that is going to be used and solidified and the things that I've experienced with the KDOT. So swinging over here, it says Ag Eagle Aerial Systems, an industry leading provider of unmanned aerial vehicles and advanced aerial imagery data collection and analytic technologies, today announced its selection as an industry partner in the next phase of the United States Department of Transportation unmanned aircraft system integration pilot program ipp the beyond program the original ipp was launched through a presidential memorandum in october 2017 with nine regional participants the ipp participants and their industry partners use innovative strategies to craft successful safety cases to operate under the federal aviation administration the faa there you're going to see that a lot Existing regulations. On October 30th, 2020, the U.S. Department of Transportation announced that the three-year IPP successfully concluded on October 25th, 2020, and the release U.S. Chief Technology Officer Michael Christosius, hopefully I say your name right, noted the IPP propelled the American drone industry forward, allowing for unprecedented expansions in testing and operations through innovative private-public uh, partnerships across the country. Now the Beyond program will build upon the success tackling the next big challenges facing drone integration. Eight of the nine state, local, and tribal governments that participated in the original program have signed new agreements with the FAA to participate in the Beyond program, including the Kansas Department of Transportation, KDOT, which is extremely important for Ag Eagle. Ag Eagle has been selected by KDOT to serve as an industry partner in the beyond program to help solve key challenges including i just want to reiterate it says an industry partner and they chose them to be the one i mean that's that's big so what this is is beyond visual line of sight operations that are repeatable scalable and economically viable with specific emphasis on infrastructure inspection public operations and small package delivery Leveraging industry operations to better analyze and quantify the societal and economic benefits of unmanned, unmanned aerial systems operations. And finally, focusing on community engagement efforts to collect, analyze, and address community concerns. So basically what I'm kind of getting from this whole thing with when it comes to the Kansas Department of Transportation is that they're wanting to see it go beyond the the visual line of sight they want to know that it's going to be able to go out do its service and come back and perform it at a very good you know rate obviously do what it's supposed to do i'm excited to see what they continue to do with the kansas department of transportation and the reason i say that is just because i know i live really really close to a huge hub for the kansas department of transportation Obviously, we have a lot of things that go on. We have snow that really starts to impact the Western Plains. A lot of things get closed down. So for drones to be able to go up and provide a service in that aspect, there is tons and tons and tons of farmland. As you start to go out into Western Kansas, you start to go into the likes of Colorado. There's just tons and tons of farmland. And so obviously the drones could be used for that manner. Um, there's just a lot of things that the Kansas Department of Transportation can use it for. Obviously, we have construction continuously. It seems like everything is always arising when it comes to you know construction on the highways. And so, when it comes to the really the analytics and studying, you know, so maybe using it for the construction aspect of upgrading and enhancing the highways. There's just a lot that I feel the Kansas Department of Transportation can use this for. Obviously, we understand one of the biggest pieces they announced in this was obviously the small package delivery. And I think that's very key, too, because we understand that that's really a big part of what Aggie was going to be about in the future. You know, coronavirus has been running rampant again. It seems like the cases are picking back up. Now we have a vaccine on the cusp of coming out. So it sounds like there's a chance that these drones could be in, you know, having their hand when it comes to making deliveries. There's just so much information and so much possibilities for the likes of an Ag Eagle, who really is a lead, industry leading drone company. I mean, they are doing some amazing things. 
they are in three sectors i mean i could go on and on and on about this company and how special they are especially with the team they have assembled and they're just honestly just making amazing strides in the positive direction. CEO Michael Droz commented on this KDOT agreement. And so I'm going to swing over here and provide that to you. It says that commenting on Ag Eagle's involvement with the FAA Beyond program, company CEO Michael Droz stated, We are very pleased that Ag Eagle will be contributing to the advancement of unmanned aerial systems technology in real world applications, which should ultimately lead to the streamline of approval processes for UAS integration into the national airspace system. We believe that our experience and expertise in drone manufacturing, drone delivery systems, integration in aerial imaging based data collection and analytics will prov pro uh, prove invaluable as we work in close collaboration with KDOT. Universities and other public and private partners involved with the BEYOND program to realize the full and very promising potential of commercial drones and so right there it just shows you the confidence that michael has in his company the product and really the direction at which they are headed awesome we have come to my favorite part of any video and that is no question chart breaking down time and no question for this stock either so swinging on over here uavs ag eagle aerial systems Today it opened at $2.50, it got as high as $2.64, its low as $2.43, volume was $2.388 million, current market cap is $151.7 million, its 52 week high is $5.50, its 52 week low is $0.19, cents, and its average volume is $2.864 million. It closed today at $2.65. And that was a run of $9.50. It has not done anything in the after hours. And this is a one week chart. And as you guys can see, it is a steady increase in the upward direction. There is a lot of anticipation coming out for this quarterly earnings. And rightfully so. I mean, there is a lot of positive catalysts that are feeding into, obviously, the quarter three earnings. Um, and I do feel that there's just a lot of positive catalysts that are pumping into this right now, really getting the hype around it and getting it going. I mean, rightfully so. They are doing some good things as a company. They really are. And I think the more and more people start to learn about what not only, you know, Ag Eagle is doing as a company, but the right things that they're doing. And, you know, for having 25 million cash on hand, zero long term debt, investing into companies like Valkyrie, um, to not only make their company better, but to make Ag Eagle's company better. You know, having a major e-commerce, you know, in your back pocket that is constantly, you know, making purchase orders from you, which hopefully we find out how big and how much in the quarterly earnings. I just think this company is going to be successful. The dots line up in a positive direction. It lines up for the future and they're one of the best in the industry. So there's no question that this company is going to be doing some amazing things. It's just the process, how long it takes, things like that. So I just wanted to provide that information on this chart and really just the excitement I have for it. I seem to always say this with Ag Eagle videos. I can assure you this will not be the last video. And the reason is, is just because it is so young. It's in an infant stage as a stock and they just keep doing amazing things. So I do want to remind you, I am not a financial advisor and anything I say in this video is for pure entertainment purposes only. And I'm going to continue to entertain, especially with this stock. And you guys know how I do it. If you like this video, smash that like button. It helps out tremendously. And if you enjoy the content, because I'm going to keep the content flowing, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as always, have a good day.